Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio Pro 10, three new interpolation types have been introduced. And I believe you'll find these to be of value depending on what you're working on in Anime Studio. Up first, we have a muscle man. It's a pretty simple animation. We hit play and he lifts the weights up above his head. So by itself, it looks pretty good. But what could we do to change this to make it look even better? Well, first, let's click on that center body bone. That's important. Then come down here to the timeline and click on that bones channel and then choose stagger by right clicking and going to your interpolation options. Now when we hit play you'll see there is this bounce or stagger effect that occurs when he lifts the weights. This is also indicated on the timeline with that squiggly line next to the keyframes. So as you can see, that can really add to the effect that he is lifting something heavy. And all we had to do was just apply that new interpolation type to the existing animation. So now we could come over here to bounce and let's check this out. So for this layer, we just have a red ball and there's two keyframes. And when we hit play, it simply just drops between those 48 frames. What we can do is come back here to frame zero, right click and choose bounce. Now you can choose how many times you want it to bounce plus how high. So for right now, we can just leave this at the defaults and then click OK. Once you do that, hit play you can see it plays the same amount of frames, except now it's adding in some animation of its own, in this case, a bounce. We could right click, go back to bounce, and we could adjust the settings. So we could go five and then 0.2 for the scale. Now it'll bounce five times, decreasing of course each time like before, but since the scale is less, it's not going to bounce as high. As you can imagine, this could have many purposes in your animations, and I think it's a pretty cool feature. Finally, we have elastic. Now, what we set up here is three layers. Each is a text layer or a vector containing text. You can see it just as Anime Studio Pro. And when we play this out, you can see it just has a text come in like this each time and then the main group layer advances forward towards the screen. It has a scale effect to it. So again, pretty simple. But let's go to the first piece of text. Right click on the keyframe that starts the motion. Go to elastic. And here we can choose how many times it bounces, similar to the bounce effect. Let's just choose four and hit OK and hit play and you can see it has like this springy effect. Now that might be a little bit too much, so we could go back into Elastic and just reduce this to three. Click OK. And you can see now that that looks a little bit better. So now we could go to all of our layers here. On frame 24 is when the next one comes in. So we can right click on frame 24, choose Elastic, put that to three and hit OK. Layer six also comes in at 48. So we just right click, choose elastic, enter three and click OK. The main group layer does its zoom effect at about 96, I believe. Yep, frame 96. So we can right click, choose elastic, enter three and hit OK. So now when we play this all out, you can see the text whips in and then it comes forward. And even then it still does the elastic effect because we applied it to every movement for 
this animation. So that is pretty cool, and I could see this working well with titles as an example, kind of a stylized, quick um, reveal of a title. So now, finally, let's just take a look at the motion graph. Now, whether you use the motion graph or not, this is a good example as to what this is doing for us. You'll notice whenever we apply these effects, it's actually not putting any keyframes in or any additional keyframes in anyway. So what you see here, for instance, with the muscle man is when he's going up, you'll notice that there is a bunch of little jagged lines right here during the interpolation. There's no new keyframes. All it is is just dipping the speed up and down as he moves up. You can definitely see it right here when we look at this graph. So that's pretty interesting because again, no new keyframes are added. It's just sort of doing its own thing. And of course, you could come in here and you could apply your own effects here with, for instance, the second keyframe, or you can even come in here and just do different things with the keyframe movement that are outside of stagger. Now, with your bounce effect, you can see here it um, goes down and then dips up. And this one's a little bit harder to see, but you can definitely tell what it's doing here with the the motion graph. It's really illustrating here kind of what's going on. And this gives us a better view right here. So in the end, I believe you'll find that these new interpolation types can really help when it comes to animating out your own projects. If you would like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.